Every translator encounters a difficult term every now and then. Sometimes the term is on the tip of your tongue, but refuses to come out. Or you may suffer a sudden lack of creativity. Or maybe you translated the term in a way that sounds good, but would feel better if this were confirmed by a colleague. The Kudos Term Help System is the basis for a set of tools and opportunities offered to translators to cooperate in giving and receiving term help. The system is based on Kudos question and the glossary derived from these questions. Over 2.5 million Kudos questions have been asked so far. The basic Kudos workflow for receiving term help has three steps. Asking a Kudos question, collaboration provided by site users, and selecting the most helpful answer and storing the results. Step 1. A term help question is posted. A translator who needs help translating a term or short phrase enters a Kudos question including the context, desired target language, field of expertise, and other optional information. Step 2. Collaboration is received. After the question is posted, Pros.com users will then suggest translations with explanations and sometimes references. Others will also collaborate by providing peer comments on the answers and discussion and reference entries on the term to be translated. Step 3. The most helpful answer is selected and results are archived. After responses have been posted, the most helpful answer can then be chosen. The answer chosen will depend on the term the asker finds most helpful for their term needs, taking into consideration such aspects as field and context. The person who submitted the chosen answer is then awarded kudos points by the asker. Kudos points are a main criterion for sorting translators and interpreters in the directory. The question and suggested translation are saved and from then on they are available to anyone else in the Kudos Open Glossary. Kudos questions with their various answers and linguistic discussion on the term also remain as a valuable resource for those who may seek help with the term in the future. Questions are indexed by search engines such as Google and provide visibility to all participants in the question. This is how a Kudos question looks. This is a question as posted by the asker, including the asked terms and the corresponding context, the language pair and field of expertise. There is also information on the asker, and by passing the cursor over the username, you can see information on the asker's kudos activity. Moving down the page, we see a summary of answers provided, including the suggested terms, confidence level, net peer agrees, and identification of answerers. Further down, the discussion entries area allows requests and additional exchanges of context information and linguistic discussion on the question. Then we can see the actual answers, including at least the translation of the terms, an explanation, and the answer's confidence level, ranging from 1, I am guessing, to 5, I am sure. Below, there is an area for reference comments, used to provide information which is not in itself an answer, but which may be helpful to either the asker or other answerers. No points are assigned to reference entries. Users can also provide peer comments on answers and reference comments. This is done by selecting the desired peer grading, agree, neutral or disagree, and entering an associated comment. This comment must be linguistic in nature and it is mandatory for neutral and disagree entries. At the bottom of the page you will find information on the moderator or moderators working in that particular language pair. Moderators can be contacted to report site rules violations or get help. This is the same question as seen by the asker. There is a lot of information here in the answers and peer comments in the reference and discussion entries. When term help has been received and enough time has elapsed, at least 24 hours after the question was asked, the asker should select the answer considered most helpful. Kudos points cannot be spread among answers. 
Look for the question that was most helpful, taking into consideration such things as reference information and explanations. If you find two answers equally useful, pick the one that arrived first. To select an answer, click on the Select this answer as most helpful link at the bottom of the answer you wish to choose. Now select the number of points to be assigned, leave an optional comment to the asker and enter the term in the glossary. Please note that the terms should be edited into glossary form before their submission. This is how the question looks after grading. On top we see the new glossary entry that will be found in the Kudos Open Glossary and the selected answer shown below the question. Pros.com site rules can be found under the About tab. There are three sections dedicated to Kudos. General rules, rules for asking and rules for answering and making peer comments. Some of these rules are Kudos can only be used for terminological help and no off-scope or personal comments are allowed. The different areas in a Kudos question must be used only for their intended purposes. Glossary form must be maintained and confidentiality should be preserved. Commentary on askers or answerers and their postings or decisions to post is not allowed. And last but not least, let's talk about Kudos points. Kudos Pro points in a given language pair and field of expertise are used for sorting translators in directory searches performed by outsourcers. Some clients also use Kudos points to flag translators for further qualification. The logic is that if you require the services of a translator with an understanding of medicine, a person who has earned 300 points providing term help on medical questions may be a good place to start looking. <laughs>